how you can recycle it and all that and how much waste is generated in a house every day have you thought suppose if in our house we generate a bucket full of waste then in our lane we can generate 10 to 15 buckets then in a total area or a total town lots and lots of waste will be generated in one single day so we can say that mountains of waste is being generated mountain full of waste is being generated so there is very huge quantities of waste which is being generated so we see that the people come garbage collectors safai karmacharis come and then they collect the garbage they do some sorting of the garbage so what is this sorting so people sorting garbage is at the garbage bins and then what do they separate usually they separate the waste which can be recycled and which cannot be recycled and then they separate also the dry and the wet waste right they separate the plastic cans plastic bottles steel cans and everything and where do they take it they take it to a dumping yards or to a landfills where they will dump it and then we also observe that there are few small children who do this job of separating garbage they don't go to, go to school so you can go and ask them why are they doing this job why are they going to school and what do they do after separating this garbage and how are they separating and what are they separating all this we can do so there are also many scrap dealers and garbage dealers around us people come come for buying old notebooks old plastic cans iron pipes then people buy all the scrap garbage of the house right newspapers they buy magazines they buy notebooks they buy so these are the many scrap dealers and garbage dealers who buy the garbage and then they try to recycle the garbage so for example recycling of the paper nowadays there is something called paper mache so by the method of paper mache we can recycle a paper how you know we have to take a big frame to that big frame we have to attach a wired mesh then to this wired mesh what we can do is take pieces of paper and then soak it in water for one night and then in the morning take the pieces of soaked paper drain the water and pound it with a hand or put it in a mixer grinder to form a paste and in the mixer grinder you can add clay or chalk powder or little fevicol to it and then so after making the paste of the paper we can spread it on this sheet where wired mesh then you can put a layer of cloth above it so that it absorbs all the excessive water and then you can dry that paper layer in the sun then that what you and you can add some food color to it also and dry then you get colored paper mache with that colored paper mache you can make any different shaped objects so i explain again you can take pieces of paper and then you can take a frame with a wired mesh right frame with a wired mesh and then you can add thick paste of soaked paper to it with along with clay or chalk powder or fevicol okay and then you can spread it on the wired mesh you can add any color to it also and you can put it in any shape also right and then spread the old cloth on the top to absorb all the extra moisture then on the above you can put a old cloth to absorb the extra water and then you can remove the cloth and throw away then remove the paper layer and add colors and dry it in the sun thereby you have recycled paper into beautiful patterns right and if you observe in the villages and compared to the towns there will be not much garbage thrown in the villages like in the towns because the students of the villages recycle the paper they recycle many things they can make different types of greeting cards with the waste paper then you can make any crafts with the waste paper like that so whenever you throw garbage just think whether you can recycle that thing or not suppose if there are waste waste charts then you can make greeting cards out of it like that you can recycle many things so before throwing just keep in mind whether you will can recycle that thing or not and then throw so that is about think and throw and recycling so can we say plastic is a boon or a curse boon means a good thing a curse is a bad kind of thing so not all kinds of plastics can be recycled so recycling of plastics can be done only for some types not all types and the recycling of plastic takes long 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 time many years so we use many things in our daily life which are made up of plastics what things are made up of plastics toys shoes bags pens comb toothbrush buckets bottles all these things which we use in our daily
daily life are made of plastics. Then parts of the television, fridge, scooters, radios, cars, etc. All these things are made up of plastics only. We cannot avoid plastics, right? So plastics existence itself causes lots of concern over the disposal. So existence of plastic itself causes a lot, lots of concern over the disposal. How can how will we dis dispose so much of plastic? Plastic bags, if we put it in a drain, then it will get clogged in the drains. That means it will block the drains. The water will not pass from the plastics from one side to the other. So what happens if the drains are clogged? Then, then during the rains, floods may occur, and then the drains will be choked or blocked because of the plastic bags. Then no proper sewage disposal system will be there. For an example, in February of 2016, the Chennai, the Tamil Nadu received heavy rains and there were lot of floods. What was the main reason behind these floods? No proper sewage disposal system, no proper drainage was the only cause for these floods in the Chennai and Tamil Nadu because usually nowadays people are constructing houses over the drainage pipes and they dispose everything in the drains. So suppose if we put oils or fats in the drains, then Oils do not mix with, mix with water, right? And then if there is oil in the drains, then also drains get choked and blocked. And suppose if there is heavy rainfall and there is a proper drainage system, all the water will go away from the drainage. But if the drainages are blocked with the plastics or the polythenes, then there will be no proper sewage disposal system. And as we can say that, one more thing what we can say, if we go outside to buy anything, suppose if we are going to a restaurant or a curry point or any grocery stores, everything we get nowadays packed in polythene packets or plastic packets. So that is not good. Things should be packed in cloth bags. And suppose if we dispose this polythene or plastic bags near the garbage, the people who are collecting the garbage, the rack pickers, what they do? They collect these plastic or polythene bags, they wash them and they reuse them. So and they, they may even use for storing of the food. So storing of the food in the plastic or polythene packets is totally not recommended. It will pose a great health hazard. Sometimes if we burn the plastic, lots of smokes and gases, different types of poisonous gases will be elim eliminated from them. Then what happens if we inhale these gases, we will pose different health problems. Sometimes even cancer occurs by inhaling the gases which burn after burn, which, 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 which come out after burning plastics. So plastics is usually a curse, but still we cannot live our life without plastics, right? Everything is made up of plastic, we need everything. So what we can do is, we can ensure that there is a proper disposable disposal system of the plastic. We dispose garbage in the garbage collecting bags in our dustbins. And then we take this garbage collecting bag and put it in the garbage bin. Then what happens? Animals, stray animals like dogs, cows, cattle, anything will come for food to the garbage bins. At that stage, in the process of searching food, those animals will swallow the garbage bag also along with the garbage. At that time what happens? It will damage their digestive system. Once I have read that a cow had a severe health problem. It was not able to digest any food. So the doctors operated on her digestive system and they have recovered 23 kgs of polythene bags from her digestive system. So the, usually if we dispose these polythene or the plastic bags in the garbage bins, the animals which eat food, which come for food, because of food to their garbage bins, they eat these polythene bags also and thereby the polythene bags will go to their stomach and damage their health also. So the cow, from the cow the doctors discovered 23 kgs of polythene. So that was a great concern, right? So we, what we can do, we can minimize the use of plastic and then we can employ a proper disposal system. So dealing with the garbage and minimizing plastic use, what can we do as an individual? So minimize the use of plastic bags. What can we do for minimizing the use of plastic bags? Carry everything in paper bags only. Don't burn the plastic bags because after burning you get lot of smoke and then if you pose a great health threat. Then do vermicomposting for kitchen waste. Usually the kitchen waste will be composted along with the red earthworms. That is vermicompost. The composting of the kitchen waste along with the 
red bath bombs is vermi compost so we can do vermi compost for kitchen waste so instead of throwing them in the garbage and then insist shopkeepers to use only paper bags rather than the polythene bags then don't put garbage in the plastic bag and throw them away because if you put plastic if you put garbage in the plastic bag and throw them away the stray animals will eat that garbage along with that plastic bag so do not put garbage in the plastic bag and then suggest others your friends your neighbors and everybody to follow proper practices of disposal proper garbage disposal system should be practiced maximize the use of paper suppose if you are writing on one side of paper and throwing away the other side don't do that use the paper to the maximum right from the first part to the last part and suppose if you are doing some maths rough work or any rough thing try to write on a slate instead of using a paper that way we can use minimize the use of paper up to some extent and then what we can do we can recycle the paper we can do any craft arts with paper mache and otherwise we can make different different patterns with the help of paper mache that is one method by which we can recycle the paper how the garbage is generated and how can it be disposed so this was clear to you how what is compost what is vermi compost what are the different garbage disposal systems what all things come under garbage we have to think and throw the garbage and what are the recycling of the paper what all things constitute in the garbage where are the garbage usually disposed what is a landfill what is compost everything was clear right so that was the conclusion of this chapter